G'day, g'day, g'day guys. Great to see you here again today. Another good day here in New Zealand. Awesome actually. Not too bad. Glad to be alive. Wouldn't be dead this week for quids anyway. Today guys, what I'm going to have a bit of a yarn about and talk a bit of bullshit about is how to turn this into this. Can it be done? Well, same as usual guys. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment and uh, let's try and do this, eh? Yeehaw! So guys, believe it or not, the uh, TIG torch that we've got here is much the same as the plasma cutter torch and the straight plasma cutter torch. They run on basically the same sort of principles and they'll, they'll run on the, on the cheap Chinese machines. This is only a video about the cheap Chinese plasma cutters. That's the only thing that I've been dealing with for years and years and years. But you can actually convert this torch here into one of these. Uh, I'm using parts out of a straight PT31 or LG40 um, plasma torch. But, um, yeah, most of you guys have old torches lying around the workshop and that, so just grab them. So, uh, there's not much point chucking them away, you can still get used out of them, especially if you're doing tick welding and shit as well. But I'll just show you how to do it, and, uh, yeah, it's quite simple, really. So, this is my plasma torch that I'm using now, you can see she's a bit ugly and beaten up. Right, so if I wanted, if I broke this or something, and I had a tick torch lying around, and I wanted to finish a cut off using this torch here, I mean, I'll show you how to do it. So I collect these sort of torches, like other people collect stamps or bottle tops or something. I've got bloody drawers full of these things, the stuff that's burnt out over the years. I never throw anything away, so I just try and mix and match my stuff, you know. But I'll, I'll pull these torches to bits and I'll show you what I mean. So here was uh, a standard PT31 or LG40 plasma cutter torch. Now if we take the top off them, like that, there we go. We've just got a basic switch, on-off switch that goes onto your, onto your machine. And we've got here for your um, power to come up, and here it's a braided power cord, and uh, the air goes up the middle, and the braided power cord hooks onto here basically, and that just livens up your torch. So you know, that's pretty basic. Now we have the TIG torch here, which um, you all know that your, your collet holder goes in there, basically, your ceramic goes on the top, just like that, and then your tail here, Put your tungsten in, and away you go. Now what I'll do is I'll pull this one to bits and show you. See so this one here? It's basically the same as that one there. Do you see what I'm saying? Basically the same thing. Just the only difference is that this is a, a female and that is a male thread. So if we're using our existing TIG torch and it's already got a lead on it, well it's already wired up and it's wired up the same way as what this torch is basically. So what we basically want to do is change out the uh, end and put a plasma cutter end on it and I reckon it's going to cut. Now I'll show you the straight plasma torch for the PT31 or LG40 and that's exactly the same. Pull it to bits Pete, have a look. <laughs> See that there? That is exactly the same as this one here. The only difference is that this is a straight torch and that's on a right angle. Well, straight torch obviously because you want to go straight if you want to use this little torch here like on a homemade CNC machine or something. And you want to use this one here as a handheld one. But I'm going to use this one here today guys because it's nice and straight. It's straight, it's not on an angle and that suits my purposes. So we'll try and uh, attach this sucker here into here. So I've and got then we'll try and get torch a torch and my lead here guys, as you can see, so we'll just disassemble them. Take the ceramic off, and we'll take the uh, collet and the collet holder out, like that. And what I'll do is I'll leave the tail on the end, and then what we'll do is we'll pull this sucker to pieces again. So basically all I'm using is the end piece, the fitting of the plasma torch. Now if you guys have got this sort of shit lying around your workshop, if you think like me, you've got broken plasma torches and that sort of thing all over the place. So well, I never throw anything away. I'm like a magpie, I collect things. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you're bound to have something lying around. But even if you don't, I mean, these torches are really, really cheap. I think you can buy a straight plasma torch or you can buy one of these, I think for about nine bucks or something. So you know, if you want to have a play, by all means. I'll put some links down below if you're looking for them. And then what I'm going to do, my theory is this will screw straight into here. Look at that. 
Right, I wonder if that's actually going to work. What do you reckon, guys? I'll show you how it plugs into my machine, just so you know that it does plug in. So here's my Cup 40 machine, guys. I really like these machines, Cup 40 and Cup 50 machines. They're really awesome, I think they are, anyway. So I'll just zoom in on the connections here. I've got my uh, plasma torch plugged into it at the moment. So we'll just zoom in and I'll show you how the other one fits in there. So, guys, here's my modified big torch and the ends I've got here. So I'll just show you how we can just whack that into my plasma cutter. Ah, you didn't think it would fit, but you watch. Here's the original torch. Here's my modified TIG torch. Screws in there, beautiful. Beautiful feet, just like a brought one. And here's my switch from the TIG torch. There's the original switch for my plasma cutter torch. See so if we can get them in there. There you go. Hook them up like that. Right. Let's turn the bugger on and see what happens. Right, we've got them running, so we'll go and get a hunk of steel, guys, and see if we can whack it up, eh? <laughs> anyway, guys, here's my hybrid that I made, my TIG plasma cutting torch. It looks like something out of a space movie, doesn't it? Looks like one of those laser guns. <laughs> anyway, we'll see if it works. Looks like it works for me guys, what do you reckon? Hey, there you go. Laser gun plasma cutter torch. yee -ha! There you go guys, this works just as well as this works, but this looks a hell of a lot cooler I reckon anyway. Anyway guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.